So if you study EU very well, you know that what prices takes. It's very easy to get um, trades on EU. It's very very easy because what price just targets equal highs and equal lows where liquidity is after it take liquidity out, which reverses. Like that's that's how it moves to get it. Then it's without create new liquidity again. So that's the liquidity cycle to create new liquidity again. Then target another what previous high, take it out, drop again, take another previous low, create another liquidity, take it out again, moves again. That's how it moves. I get it. Any question again? Before we dive into the next topic. So we have to know the two types of what liquidity. We have the buy stock liquidity and the sell stock liquidity. As time goes on, I'll add notes to it. I'll add notes to the video so that you read then you watch the video then you practice as well question again all right so i made mention of um stop hands in the market i made mention of stop hands and swing market shift so i made mention of this two sms which is what the swing market shift and the sh is the stop hunt so i've already explained the swing market shift it's left with the stop hunt all right so when we talk of the stop hunt it's a movement used towards neutralize liquidity I get it. It's a movement used to neutralize liquidity. I get it. So it's a false breakout above or below a zone where there is liquidity. So it's a false breakout above or below the zone where there is what liquidity. All right. So sometimes there what the market makers, which are the bonds. They usually use the high impact news towards to take liquidity in the market. So what I basically mean is that sometimes you see, you can see that we had this previous low over here. And what happened? You can see this news spike spike to the downside to take out this what uh, news over here. This uh, low over here. And what happened? It started flying to the upside. And after they took out this high again after they took out the side again, you can see price started with moving correctly to the downside and you can see over here after they took this uh, previous high price we had a shift a swing a shift of market structure i get it we had a swing market shift over here so this please become your words sms This place becomes your SMS in the market. So when you see this, you should be what looking for sales after that. Any buy that you look for should just be what uh, just a pullback buy or try the 10 pips to just target maybe uh, where inefficiency is or where another block is for continuation. So um, yesterday I even missed this move. You can see it's a whole mess. I even targeted all this. You can see the movement that happened. It was so huge. And I I used 40 lots over here, but I missed it. I used 40 lots. So this would have been a very nice profit for me. I miss it by some small bits. So I explain all these trades I took as time goes on.
Okay, any question on liquidity before we move on? All right, so we, we are on what the stop hunt, right? So I right, said so stop hunt is what um, it's a movement used to neutralize liquidity in the market. It's a force breakout above or below the zones where there is liquidity. So it's basically the way we do traders trade opposite of it. So we had this what stop on so when your price take out this low then what price moves to the outside. So yeah. yes. And on the yeah. bullish market so mm -hmm. we can have this and price move to the downside. It's what we call the stop funds. It can be in the form of what price movements can be in the form of what just a single candle. Just a single candle. So let's say uh, you identify this place as what let's say your equal equal is over here, then what you are in a trade, in a self trade over here, expecting to go to the downside, then what price quickly reverse to the upside to pull out then what the trace to the downside. So this can be what the form of what the stop lines. And over here to have a present over here, let me explain. Okay. So in the form of a candle, you can have this as a stop point, uh, whereby you have this buy candle over here, this bullish candle over here. Then what we see, you see, we see this what bearish candle to the downside, taking you out of the trade. So this candle becomes your stop ones. Then you see it started flying to the upside. So this is what you call stop ones. And see what we had this buy candle, buy candle, then one bearish candle took out liquidity from this previous candle and started pushing to the outside. So we call it what a stop hunt candle. Then after that you see another block form of your nine sorts retracement over here and price continue pushing to the outside. So this is a nine sort a light setup like this and the lower time frame after a stop hunt and another block form like it very well. Only the confirmation candle. So over here too, you can see we had this move over here. Price took out the liquidity of this forward. So you can see we have this sell sell stop liquidity. See so this place we had this hollow and you see the candles here on the hollow. So this place become what the hollow price to cut what the liquidity of what this equal lows so stop liquidity then what price started pushing to the outside but when before price will start pushing to the outside and see what this bullish candle came down to take out liquidity over here get below this single candle so it doesn't necessarily mean we should look for the whole movement in the market for liquidity before liquidity can be taken liquidity can be taken from a single candle as well i get it you can see liquidity got taken out from this single candle before it's it formed this candle from another block the smaller time frame mm -hmm. The M2 where you can see how this nice other block over here and price came to top that they're flying to the upside. The stop loss was just what 1.35 stop loss. The risk to what is one is to 50. So let's see if you are Rexen. 
they are resting with one percent of their accounts, which is let's say having ten thousand balance accounts in your resting with one percent, which is hundred dollars. Yeah, imagine the recent hundred dollars to make what fifty percent of your account. That's insane. Are you getting it? Uh, so that's the beauty of what this strategy.